What up, YouTube? It's your boy RDS, and let's go. I'm pretty sure y'all not gonna get a lot of people reacting to this. I might be the first to react to this interview. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm a huge fan of Ryan. Wait, I mean, not Ryan. Uh, I apologize. Jeremy Renner. And I still cannot believe what this man had to go through in order to get back to the Jeremy Renner that we all know and love and respect. It was so painful to watch him go through the rehabilitation part, the, you know, we all were worried if he was going to lose his legs or his leg. You know, it was out there that they had to amputate. They were thinking about amputating because it was just too much damage. But through the grace of God, this man pulled through. Still got both his legs. And I heard he's doing a lot better. So I cannot wait to watch this interview because, like I say, I'm a huge fan. I love Hawkeye. A lot of people don't like Hawkeye. They say he's one of the weaker Avengers, but I'm a big fan of Hawkeye. To me, he's the one that keeps that group together. You know, he kept that group focused. He kept that group together. He was the voice of reason. For real. That's what I believe. You know, he was a family man. He didn't really have no powers. You know, like Stark ain't have powers neither, but you know, Stark, well, he's a billionaire. He got things to lean on outside of the Avengers. Now, besides a family, you know, Jeremy Renner has a family that's more valuable than any Avenger or any money. It doesn't matter. A family is more valuable than any of that. So, that's why I respected that man a lot. As far as his character. But, as him being a human being, I heard he, he risked his life to save his nephew. And I believe he would have did that for anyone. Like, it doesn't matter. It could have been a complete stranger. He would have put his life on the line. He's a true Avenger. So without further ado, y'all, let's jump into this interview. And I'm very curious to, to know exactly what this man went through, how scared he, how, how afraid he was. So let's go. For a snowplow accident that nearly took his life. I really couldn't be more fortunate. In a sneak peek at the actor's sit down with ABC. So this is just a really a sneak peek interview. It's not the full interviews. I think this might be enough. So let's check this out. This is Diane Sawyer, airing Thursday, April 6th. Jeremy and his family open up about the moment he was run over by a seven-ton snowplow on New Year's Day in an attempt. Seven tons. I don't understand how this man is still alive. To save his nephew's life. I just perfectly see him in a pool of blood coming from his head. When I ran up to him, you know, I didn't think he was alive. <sighs> I'd do it again. You'd do it again? Yeah, I'd do it again. Because it's going right at my nephew. Mm. Someone's been run over by a snowcat. Hurry. He's been crushed. Okay, we have... Send paramedics to ambulance. Everyone's video. on the way right now. Listen to me. We yeah. might want to get a life flight out here immediately. The accident left him in critical condition with 30 plus broken bones. Jesus. Do you remember the pain? Oh, all of it. Yeah, I was awake through every moment. Jeremy also had to undergo surgery for blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries. Eight ribs broken in 14 places. Yes. Right Jesus. knee, right ankle broken, left leg tibia broken, the left ankle broken, right clavicle broken, right shoulder broken, face, eye, socket, Jeez. jaw, the mandible broken. What? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And he actually said he would go through it again to save his nephew. Okay. Lung collapsed, mm -hmm. pierced from the rib bone, your liver. Mm -hmm. Which Jeez. sounds terrifying. Yeah. And they're like, what's my body look like? Am I just going to be like a spine in a 
in a brain, like a science experiment. Had a chance to chat with Yeah, no, been in touch with him, reached out to him. He's doing good, I believe. And, oh yeah, all prayers are with him, yeah. Since the accident, Jeremy's friends and co-stars have shared updates with E.T. I talked to him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's doing all right. He's doing he's doing well. He's the best best guy, and you know, um, he's awesome. He is a force of nature. He's unstoppable, <laughs> and I just am so relieved that he's on the comeback trail. And Jeremy, he's shared some updates too, and kept his sense of humor. He's so sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Check it out. Literally, look at all like, the blood. That was the first shower. I was definitely weak or so. <laughs> Gross. The A-lister posted that video with his mom and sister just days after the whole thing went down. I've lost a lot of flesh and bone in this experience, but I've been refueled and refilled with love and titanium. And he gets emotional talking about his family's support. I heard that you had, in sign language, you said to your family, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But the actor is staying strong, telling fans he'll do whatever it takes to recover physically and mentally. I chose to survive. You gotta kill me. But wait. And it's that mindset that's helping Jeremy with his recovery. You look in the mirror and do you see the same face? No, I, I see lucky man. <laughs> All right few things I want to say first off God was with that man he was with that man and you know for him to get emotional when she brought up you know how his family was there with him through it all that lets you know what type of man he is. He's all about family. He's all about family. And I'm pretty sure when he was going through that, he said he was awake through that whole, he felt everything. When he was going through that, I'm pretty sure what he was thinking about is that, damn, I'm not going to be able to be there for my family like I want to. Like I was able, like, just to think about that, What an inspiration, for real, what an inspiration. And you know, a lot of my family and friends are gonna watch this uh, reaction to his interview and they're gonna see how I am when it comes to hearing stuff like that. Because you have to really respect, you have to respect someone like that. You have to really truly understand exactly what this man has went through even if you just visualize it all of course you can't feel it physically feel it but you can just imagine what that man had to go through the trauma the stress of it all the emotional side of it like I can't believe that he's even able to sit there and interview like he looks good he looks like he could just get up and start running shooting them down like popping them arrows off like it's unbelievable for real it is unbelievable and I hope Hollywood decides to really do something when it comes to like when he's able to you know move and run and do the things that he used to do in order for you know so his career can keep going on I hope they decide to do something with his character. Give this man a movie. Give that man a movie. I want to see a Hawkeye movie. Fuck that TV show. I want to see a Hawkeye movie. For real. What an inspiration. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think, y'all. It was just a joy to watch him talk. And I cannot wait for the whole entire interview to come out because I am going to sit back and I'm going to watch it and listen to every word. Shed a few tears. I almost shed a tear now when he got emotional and shit, for real. It's like you can feel his pain. I mean, just imagine. Jesus Christ. It's 
a lot of people won't do that. Like he jumped and pushed this. Oh my God. Like, I don't, I don't know. Whew. Well, I'm out of here, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, click that bell. And as always, thank y'all for supporting your boy. Until next time, like you see on the screen now. Much love to Jeremy Renner, by the way. All the Avenger family out there. Peace, love, and deuces.